friends, welcome to Lentech. Hope you are enhancing your coding skills. And in this video, we will try to complete the design of our music player, which we have completed till here. Wait, wait, I will show you till where we have completed. You just have to wait for a while. Let me open the program. Okay, so I am back with my original voice and 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 let me change the resolution as it's my new device and the screen should fit it. And guys, this is my new setup. So let me know in the comment section that whether I have to change some things or it is good. So guys, now our plan is to make three frames which will look like this. Basically, our idea is to make a top bar here and then we will insert a picture of music here. And in the third frame, we will simply place some buttons which we will use further. So let's get started with our coding work. So first let me clear the idea of frames which I am talking now. So basically we are using frames to organize them in a better way and it will look more catchy to our eyes. Let me clear the hashtags and make these two lines working. And okay so I will run and show you but before that let me comment this. Uh, actually it's not commenting but this part of the code will not work. And so let me run and show you. Let's check whether it shows errors. So, okay, no, there are no errors. So, let's move our step forward in understanding the frames. So, first, I will simply copy the frame and that part and simply pasting because I have to make some more frames too. And I will name these frames as frame 1, frame 2, and frame 3. But before that, let me change the row and column of these frames so that they do not overlap. So, let me change the rows and columns of each frame. And till that if you are feeling bored, then you can go and hit the subscribe button. So we have almost did it and one more. Let me also change the frame name to frame 3. And 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 let's check and run it again. Oh, oh, oh error. Let's correct and check whether it works. Oh my god. Okay, the same error for the frame 2. I think you are not hitting the subscribe button. This is the reason behind these errors. See, you have to go fast and hit the subscribe button. So, I hope that this time it works. Yeah, as you can see, the code is working without an error. And now I am. I will make you clear about the frames. And guys, you are not going to understand about it till it has some widgets in it. Because till uh, the frame does not have widgets inside it, it is going to shrink. And we are not able to see it. So let's make a top bar uh, which we are going to insert in frame 1. And we have created a special workspace for this top bar. So let me create the variable as we usually do. And my idea is to make the make a button in the top bar and we will use it for adding songs in the playlist. So it will be easier for us if we directly copy the button part and just change the variable name. So I am copying and pasting it in here. And now we will just change the uh, variable name and for instance we will keep it as top underscore button and let's check change the text we will name it here, here as style and we have to place it in frame 1 so instead of root we are changing changing it to frame 1 okay so let's once over you everything is in right order and uh, i think we can change it to label for instance we will use it in the label and after some time when we will have to use the function we will change it to button so i am placing it using pack and now let's run and okay as you can see the label or uh, you can see the widget is placed and now we have to place the center image so let's create a workspace for it so let's hashtag center image and now we will need an image file so i'm going and creating an image file and i will skip this part and if you want to watch this part you can watch the previous video in which we have created every single image and don't worry it's not at all a hard task and if you are feeling any difficulty in it you can simply comment i will upload the video as soon as possible so now let's copy the path of the file which I have created in the pixel app. I have copied the path of the file using ES file explorer and I am simply pasting it here. If you are quite confused in this and then I will recommend you to watch our last video and I am sure that you will understand it after watching it. So I am simply uh, copying this button and this part and I will just change the variable name as we do. Actually guys you can count these shortcuts under your skills as a programmer uh, using shortcuts is a skill. So we have simply changed the variable name and now we have to arrange it. So I will, uh, I am simply copying the name of the variable and I will pay, use pack or grid to align them. But guys wait, we have just saved the image file in a variable but we have to create a widget first. So I am create a widget naming center image button and 
I will uh, do the same as we did in other buttons. So let me copy this stuff and paste it here. And to make the code presentative and to make it easier for you to understand the code, I will simply add hashtags. And you can also say it as commenting. And now let's again continue our work from here. And let me first copy the stuff. Mm, I am thinking I am becoming more lazy. So I think we should do it manually. Otherwise, you will start commenting that you are just copying and pasting, copying and pasting. So yes, we have placed it in frame two and and now using image, we are adding image to this variable. And guys, now let's arrange this uh, widget using the grid. And I am going to use pad X and pad Y. And now you are going to have a clear idea of frame. So let's run it. And as you can see, you can see this widget and image. And uh, let me zoom the screen for you. And if you see clearly, there is small border and this is the frame and okay, let me increase the increase this pad X and pad Y more so you can get a clear and very clear idea. But before that, let's try to change all the grids to pack uh, because it will be easier for us to handle them with uh, pack instead of grid. So I am changing the frame one and all the frames grid to pack. First, let's confirm whether they show an error. Okay, I have to change all them, all of them to pack. Let me do that. And now let's try running it. Okay, so as you can see there are no errors. It means that we can use pack and grid but for different frames. Okay, I think I have said something different but okay, understand what I want to see. Now I will adjust pad X and pad Y which will uh, make you understand about these frames. Yes, I know that I am highlighting this point again and again but this is very important for this project. And if you understood clear about the frames then you can even build more complex programs very easily. Okay, so now you have to watch each and every step carefully. See what I am changing and see what is happening inside our graphic user interface. I am again intimating you that you have to watch everything carefully and this is the only way in which you will be able to understand these things. So friends I think there is some problem in the image file so I am making a new image file and skipping this part. A few moments later. Okay the full square is now visible clearly. And now our idea is to place here a time bar which will eventually move forward with the as the music plays. And for now we, we will just make a label here and so that we can add the buttons uh, below it. So I am just copying and making a new frame and we will place the time bar in the frame 3 and in the frame 4 we are going to place the buttons. And I have just changed the color of frame 3 to grey so that we can understand the difference and there is no other motive for this change. So creating a workspace. And all the steps are almost same so I am just copying and pasting and changing the variable name. So I am changing the variable name and making it as time underscore button similarly in the next line so that it will not give the error again. And we want to keep it as label and so we change the button to label and similarly we have did the changes in the variable. And we also have to change the, te change the text uh, so we will keep actually it's time bar so i think we will keep uh, time or you can say 0, 0.00 seconds so it's almost done we have placed it in frame 3 and let's run it okay as you can see now i will zoom and tell you actually you can see this is the frame and inside it is our widget hope this time the concept of frames is clear to you so now we are going to place the button so let's remove these three quotation marks and make this button working and and as you know we have to place them in the frame 4 so let me copy frame 4 and then we will paste this instead of root uh, so as you know the first it was in the root window but now we are moving all the buttons to frame 4 so I am simply copying them and pasting it in, instead of root ok so it's almost done let's try running it uh, oops, we forgot to remove the quotation marks from the last part. So let's remove them and try it again. Um, okay, so as you can see, it, they have appeared in the frame 4 and we have brought them uh, beneath the, below the time bar. So now I think they are looking something weird. So let's remove the background. And okay, we will do some more changes in them to make them look uh, realistic.
guys i have an idea we can simply change the grid to pack uh, and it will make uh, it will give us more control over these widgets now let me copy paste all the variables name and use pack in front of them let's try running them okay so as you can see all the widgets are placed but they are not in a right order so we will do it using side so let's go and type side and equals to left basically it means that we are uh, in this pack we are arranging them in the left side and if we did the same uh, side equals to left for all the widgets then they will appear in a row and to keep some space between all the different buttons we will use pad x and pad y So let's run and okay as you can see they are looking quite great and they are arranged in a row so i think it will be better if i change the color of the frame and okay so let's change the color of the frame and run it mm, oops i think okay some quotation marks okay let's run and as you can see the frame and all them all of them are arranged in a better way so now our next step is to change the play button uh, basically by changing i mean that when we click when we will click the play button it will change to pause button and vice versa but first let's change the padding of the frames so that it will look quite uh, cool so now let's remove this quotation mark part as it's of no use so to remove the pause button we have to simply remove the uh, this part so we can simply add a hashtag in front of it uh, so i am adding a hashtag and commenting it out so Similarly, we have to do the same for image part. Uh, I think we should we don't need to do the commenting for image part. So let's try and run it again. Okay, so as you can see the pause button have been removed. So now our task is to make it working. Actually, I think we have to do it in next video as the video time has been more than 15 minutes. So yes, we will make it working in the next video, but we I have did several changes, changed the image of the center image and did a lot more changes which will which I will upload in the code and and I am going to show you how it, exactly it looks after making these changes now. So as you can see our project looks like this and in the further code we are going to also make it more realistic and 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 in the next video I will try to make it work too. And I promise you that I am going to complete this series as soon as possible. And if you want to watch some more changes, you can stay here and I will run the video at 2x and watch the live changing of the uh, of our music player. So that's it for today. Meet you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned. Have a good day. Bye bye. Fearless.